welcome to FileSec. My name is Rodrigo, and today we're going to set up our S3 storage. Let's start by logging in to our S3 account and going into AWS Management Console. Now we go to Services and find Identity and Access Management, or IAM. Let's go to Users and click on Add Users. We'll give the user a name, preferably something related to FileStack. Now we select the access key and click on Next, Permissions. We'll select Full Access and click on Next, Tags. Let's leave everything as is and just click on Next, Review. Finally, let's click Create User to do just that. We are presented with two keys, the access key ID and the secret access key. Let's copy both of them and keep them at hand. With this, we can click Close to finish. To start with our policy, let's click on User and add inline policy. Now we'll select the JSON tab. To find the needed codes, let's open filesac.com slash docs and click on Storage. Now we can copy the Amazon S3 code, which we'll paste in AWS. Just remember to change the bucket name to the one we'll create next. Now we can click on Review Policy and we'll name it, so we can click on Create Policy to finish this step. To configure our bucket, let's go to Services, then Storage, and click on S3, where we'll find all of our S3 buckets. Let's create a new one by clicking Create Bucket. We'll name the new bucket with the same name we use in our policy. Let's leave everything as is, and click on Create Bucket. Now we'll click on the bucket and on Permissions to change its configuration. Under Bucket Policy, click on Edit. We'll copy the Content Ingestion Network Policy from our FileSack documentation page and paste it here, just changing the bucket's name and then we can save the changes. Now let's edit our cross-origin resource sharing policy which we'll just copy and paste from the JavaScript SDK section at FileSack documentation and we'll save the changes. With this done, our AWS configuration is finished. After we log into our FileSack account, let's select our desired app by clicking on its API key and open the storage settings on the left to select Amazon S3. We'll paste the keys we generated earlier and fill the bucket name and location. We can click on Test S3 settings to check everything is working smoothly and we'll click Save to finish the setup, which will require our password for security purposes. From this moment on, Every uploaded file will default to our S3 storage and not to FileStack's internal storage. Let's do a quick test using our past tutorials code. We'll upload a file. And once it's done, we can use our browser console to check the selected storage. We can see the bucket's name as the container. If we go to our S3 console, we can easily find our file too. Thanks for using FileSack. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Have a great day.